It's a big honor to welcome Mr. Alex Rudinger. Hi. <laughs> Alex, thanks for being here. And Mr. Dennis Namesig. Once again. Thank you Once again. for having me. Yeah, thank you. The first question, the first big topic is foot technique and the gear you're using. So first question from our student, Tommy. Hey, Alex, can you go over the pedal settings you use on your trick pedals? Yes, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's not too much crazy about them, although I do suppose the main beater cam uh, for the actual beater angle is further back than, I don't know if they can see this, but there's a line that I drew. There's also like the stock trick line. Mm -hmm, yep. um, so I guess, I guess technically I have the beater. Yeah. But, and this is, I definitely get the most questions about that awkward middle tempo, because when I'm going faster, it's all, it's more ankle, hip flexor. Mm -hmm. And then the question for everyone is always that middle tempo, like yeah. how do you get past that? And uh, I do that for five minutes at, I start at 175 BPM, mm -hmm. which is a little bit quick for paradiddles. For some people, I didn't always start it that fast, but at this point, that's where I started at. Yeah. Um, that really starts to help loosen up my arms. And because it's heavily accented, it's mostly wrist. Um, so that's what I do. I do that for five minutes. And then I move on to uh, the main core section, which is basically like doing a very slow bomb blast. Like, But yeah, I think aside from just actually physically forcing yourself to do something uncomfortable, you know, and, and especially like when doing like a hi-hat groove, trying to get like an actual feel, like, you know how if you do like a, you're actually, you know, there's like a dynamic to it yep. and trying to get that down with your non-dominant side is very difficult for a lot of people. So other than just forcing yourself to do it and spending time on it, the other major thing that I personally did that I think 